All right, guys, so I'm on with Big Bad Loser. Uh, I think he is AFK, um, which is probably a good thing because uh, he alerted me that I have been pranked. Um, in, in the episode where I fought the Withers with Macho Dagger and uh, Example, I mentioned that I had spent some time when I was sick uh, fixing up and completing this tunnel. Um, so here's a way you can kind of see it right now. Wow, I'm... Run! <laughs> Come on. That is just... Oh, it's uh, the beacon ended. That's just pathetic. I don't know what it is about the nether. I've mentioned this many times in my videos, but it does not feel like you can run here. Did I get turned around? I... Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I did. Wow. That was lame. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, so... <laughs> geez. Um... So yeah, I'm going to my base, which is where I believe uh, Big Bad Loser said that my... I, I don't know if it's a prank or a gift, um, but he's on right now and most likely AFK. And that means that he's in one of two places, usually the iron farm or the gold farm. Uh, and so we will see him if he's at the gold farm because it's in this direction. We're about to hit it. Um, by the way, I'm creating another branch off over here to go to Pecos's base uh, via rail line. Um, and the reason for that is because it will later then allow me to make a rail that goes to taco. So this will take you boom to, um, Pecos. Um, good. They fixed this uh, in the B snapshot. Um, now, uh, something I put in, you can see these buttons here. This is just kind of a little thing I want to show you. I set it up so that if you are going this way and you hit these, um, which is really hard to do when you're not in a minecart but uh and even still in the minecart it's pretty hard but if you hit those it'll bypass this so you'll go straight through and it'll continue this direction um so that you can kind of uh skip the uh this little junction and if you're sitting here and you press this button uh it'll allow you to make a left turn right here which will then uh right you into the correct path once you get to here um so yeah i just been working on this a little bit should be fun. Um, let's go ahead and take a look and see if uh, Big Bad Loser is um, over here AFK. Nope, not at the gold farm. Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our uh, base and see what's going on. To be honest with you guys, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Nice prank. No. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit concerned because prior to Big Bad Loser coming on, uh, I had a chat with Macho Dagger <laughs> about uh, how I couldn't afford to be pranked at a certain time because of um, yeah, <laughs> because of uh, um, episode 50. I was working on stuff and I couldn't afford to have it change. Holy crap! Awesome. <laughs> He knows my identity. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I really appreciate I mean, I, I could care less about a gift, although I will take it and I appreciate it. But um, this is the way to do things. If you're going to take blocks like, like here and stuff, thank you for having the decency to give them back to me. Um, that is That is how you prank somebody. I appreciate that. Let's read what this says. Okay. Hi Cypress, I noticed in your videos you really liked the creative server, so I thought I <laughs> so I thought I should bring I should bring back some uh, good memories. All hail the walrus king. <laughs> oh awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I can't type <laughs> alright so let's check what's in here oh that is so funny um, I'll, I'll jump into the creative server in a second so you can see it or the, the old server not the not the new creative server but the old one that was uh, at one time creative um, and of course of course I gotta re-wrangle re my horses 
because uh, Dinner Bro just cannot figure this out in the snapshot. Oh man. <laughs> uh, good times. Oh man. This is this is a great prank. Um, it's simple and and I appreciate the simplicity of it, honestly. Um, I need to figure something out about this. Uh, by the way, um, oh yeah, my, my new viewer or my new viewers, my none of my viewers have seen this yet. get in there okay so uh, this is my current work on the stable um, I think somebody else put this here I don't think I put that there I forgot um, but um, uh, that's oh my gosh you are just crazy we're gonna ride you this is just ridiculous um, this is my my stable uh, you'll notice that I've got name tags here um, I haven't named the horses yet I don't know what to name them Jeez, oh, I hate this breaking leads crap it. Uh, in my video. All right, let's get you inside, and then I'll also show you guys the little fishing hut. Um, you know, I was thinking the other day, if I had two jungle biomes near my base, I would absolutely tear one of them all the way down. Uh, or, no, 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 let me rephrase that. I would cut down all the trees um, of one of them because, oh my gosh, you just do not want to go in there. By the way, the, uh, well, actually, we'll see. Hold on. We'll see. There's probably more of it. Uh, I'm going to guess that the gift has pumpkin pies in it because uh, BBL, uh, Big Bad Loser, um, recently created a pumpkin pie farm so let us see oh I can't pick it up oh okay gift what's the gift probably the glowstone well now it's a gift of chest because I don't have enough uh, spots that's awesome dude um I want to give a gift to a lot of people on the server of a bunch of glowstone as well um so that they don't feel the need to take it from the nether because um, I can get it pretty easily uh, either through the witch farm that Example's been making um, or through um, trading with villagers. So I just want to show you guys real quick. And I'm thinking about putting a bridge here. Not quite sure how I'm going to handle it yet. Um, this is just a little design I threw up based on that house I put up at Alamantis' base. Uh, Alamantis base, that sounds weird either way. Um, and you guys know how you can kind of put these on half slabs and stuff. Something happened over here that was a little bit strange, where they went on the side that has no block. But uh, I don't know. I kept them there. Who cares? Um, so here's the, uh, the little fishing hut. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. Um, I have considered putting pistons underneath here that will stop mobs from being able to get in at nighttime. Um, or when it rains, I guess. There we go. And I'm happy to say that this bed does in fact work and it does let you uh, respawn there. It doesn't act like it's a, um, what do you call it? Oh, you know what? I should put uh, an iron pressure plate here. Why does it seem so dark? Oh, my computer's bright. This is dark. There we go. Um, that probably didn't change for you guys. I, I hope it didn't because I would, I would have preferred it to record at full brightness. Um, anyway, so uh, this is just a little fishing hut, that's all. Um, I'm going to go look around. I, I have a feeling that there's more to this prank. Um, like little things, like when he turned the clock sideways. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and see, and uh, we will then jump to the creative server for a bit. Um, and I will kind of explain uh, the significance of this prank. Um, I might even jump to both creative servers, uh, the existing current one and also the old one. 
um, which is currently in a single player world. Um, just gonna check and see if these are rotated. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he messed with this stuff. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the uh, creative single player world. All right. All right. So this is what he was referencing. <laughs> Um, he rebuilt the walrus face <laughs> that I put on this, uh, oh, what is this thing? Oh, this one's gone. Oh, well. Um, these used to be the, uh, special type of smooth stone, um, where it had the top texture on all sides, but that got switched in that one snapshot. Um, so there's that, and then, um, yeah, this used to be the Walrus Kingdom. You can, I recommend you guys, if you're interested, watching uh, Alamantis's 21st episode. Um, you could watch my 25th episode, but it's like an hour and a half long and not nearly as entertaining as just watching Alamantis's response. Um, so I'd recommend you guys go check that out, because it's a really great video. Uh, it takes them a while to find the prank that I, that I went to the creative server um, to do, but uh, it's really worth it. Um, his response is, it gets me every single time. So, um, what he was referring to about the walrus, um, symbol, which I guess is not over there. I can just make it again and then break it. Uh, so we have symbols on the server, on the old server at least we used to. Uh, this is the one for, no, 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 no. This is the one for the walrus king that I was using because it, it sort of resembles a walrus uh, tusks um, the way I was kind of looking at it. So that would be the one, <clears throat> that's the one that I use. Um, and I was telling him that this one is not in use. Um, I took this one at once upon a time um, because I was going to use this one for the walrus king and that one for Cypress, but I'm currently using this one on, on the server. Um, and then we've been making new ones, and I'll explain why in a second. But yeah, I think this one is in use. Oh, no, no. One that looks like this is in use by um, Inverted Shadow. So we've all sort of got our own little symbols. Um, and uh, um, they're about five wide and up to six tall. And we kind of use these to mark off places of, of you know, what what's ours on the server. Um, and here you can see Alamantis uses it a lot because he's got a great one. This is his. Um, this sort of just represents, you know, Alamantis contributed or Alamantis built this or, or whatever. So, um, yeah, that's what that's all about. Um, and you can see over here um, on the... Uh, the, the global storage for minecarts over here um, you can see we've got that was our stong symbol I sort of hope he makes a new one if he's going to continue working on the server because it's just so big uh, that's mine, Alamantis Inverted Shadow and T. Calhoun um, and then, ooh, Quartz I got changed again, that's why I changed this back to, uh, to the stone it used to be um, and it got switched to Quartz uh, because that's what they did and now they said that stone's going to stay where it is from now on uh, which is fantastic. So anyway, um, that's about it uh, on here. And uh, <laughs> thanks for the prank. <laughs> um, I'm glad that my first prank wasn't a huge doozy because uh, I'm not sure that I'm prepared for it. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, um, you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the other server real quick. All right. So here we are back on the other server. Uh, these are the symbols we were working on. Um, Let's see, ah oh, man, there used to be a really good one over here that I thought example could use. I think it looked like, uh, let me see, it would have looked something like this, I think. No, no, it would have been like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll probably be, um, I can't remember exactly what it looked like. I think Macho Dagger created it. I should have been recording. That kind of looks like an X. What are we at? Six right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perhaps it was five? I don't know. Um, but it looks like an X the way he did it before. I'd have to ask him. Um, maybe it was... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, that one looked pretty good. So um, that one we were thinking about giving to example. Uh, and... I created this one I thought looks pretty good could be used for somebody you know we're just you just make something out of the spot you have um, and uh, it 
sort of is going to, this is sort of the idea that um, the players in my direction, you'll see this at the Nether Hub. You know, maybe not exactly this far away from the portals, obviously, but um, the idea was that when you're going this direction, you'll be going door, down towards my base, and there might be the symbols of the players that are in that direction. Um, and then if you go this way down a path, you'd see Alamantis and those characters, and then T. Calhoun um, and Inverted Shadow uh, would all be, you know, sort of separated into where they are. Um, and that's about it. So, again, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, whoop. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time.